Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this stories design using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And if you click on any of these stories, we can see that the story is displayed over here in full screen mode. And after some time, it switches to the next story. And we also have the next and the previous buttons over here. And then we have this close button. And if I click on that, we have the default story screen displayed over here. And in the previous video, we completed the CSS of this design. And we have also completed the design of the full screen mode. So this is how it looks. Now in this video, we will start with the JavaScript. And uh, in this video specifically, we will just add uh, all these images dynamically using JavaScript. So let's get started. All right, this is our source code. And if you go to the index.html file, here we can see that we have all these content divisions over here. And in that we have all these images. So as of now, we have just hard coded all these uh, images over here. So we have this first image over here, the second image and so on. And because of that, we have all these images displayed over here. Right now we cannot see the images. So let's just hide this full screen mode for now. So let's go to the style.css file and uh, let's go to the story full division. So this is the full screen division right here. So what I will do is I'll just set the opacity to zero and I will also set the pointer events to none. And now we can see that all the stories are displayed over here. And I think we can decrease the width of this uh, story container over here. So if I just right click over here and click on inspect and let's select stories container and let's just decrease the width a little bit. And I think 640 looks all right. So let's do that. Let's go back to the CSS and uh, let's go to the stories container. Let's change this to 640 pixels. Right now here we can see that all these stories are displayed over here because we have hard coded all those uh, images over here in the HTML. Now let's go ahead and comment all this uh, code over here. So I'll just press command forward slash or control forward slash. And we can see that all this code has been commented. Now if you go back to our uh, stories container, we can see we have this empty stories container over here. Now what we will do is we will display all the stories dynamically using JavaScript. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file and we have already linked our main.js file over here in the index.html file. So let's start by creating an array. So let's type const and we'll name the array all stories. Now we'll create an array of objects. So in this array we will have several objects. So let's create an object and in the object we need to have the thumbnail URL. So let's type thumb URL. You can name this anything you want. And let's provide the thumbnail URL over here. So if you go to the images uh, folder, here we can see we have all these thumbnail images and the full images. So let's type images forward slash one hyphen thumb dot PNG. So this is the first image thumbnail. And the next thing we need to have is the full image. So let's name it image URL. And let's add the image link over here. So let's type images forward slash one dot PNG. So here we can see for the full image, we have this uh, image named one.png. And then we also need to have the title. So let's type title. And for the first one, let's add a title of title number one. So this is our object. Now in this way, we need to create all these objects. So let's copy this and I'll just paste it seven more times. Now for the second one, we have the thumbnail URL set to two hyphen thumb.png and this one is two.png. And here we will add title number two. Now in the same way, let's go ahead and change the URLs and the titles of all these images. All right, so here I have changed the URLs and the titles of all these images. So we have eight objects over here in total in this array. Now let's go ahead and display all these images in our browser. So let's create a for loop and we will loop through all these items inside the array. And we'll create this structure over here. So here we can see we have this division with the class of content and in that we have the ing tag with the source of the image thumbnail URL. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we can see the name of the array is all stories. So let's type all stories dot for each and this will loop through all the items inside the array. Now for each of the stories, I'll just call it S. You can call this anything you want and let's create an arrow function over here. Now the first thing we need to do is create a division with the class of content. So let's type const and let's give it a name of content. And here you have to type equals document dot create element. And here we need to type div because we need to create a division. 
and we need to give it a class of content so let's type content which is this constant right here dot class list dot add and here we'll just type content so this is the content division now we need to create the img tag so let's type const and I will just name it img equals document dot create element and we need to have an img tag so let's type img over here and we need to set the source of this img to the thumbnail url so let's type img dot set attribute and we need to set the src attribute and the value should be the thumbnail url so let's type s which is the current story dot and then we can see we have this thumb url over here all right now the next thing we need to do is we need to add the content division inside the stories container division so here we can see all these content divisions are inside the stories container division so for that first of all let's get the reference of the stories container so let's type const stories container equals document dot query selector stories container and now here we'll type stories container dot append child and here we need to type content so now this content division will be appended inside the stories container division now we need to append the image inside the content division so let's type content dot append child img right now let's go back to our web page and here we can see we have all these images displayed over here and these are displayed dynamically using javascript so let's test it out let's uh, delete some of these images and let's see whether we have the changes so i'll just delete all these images i'll just keep two of these images over here and now if you go back we can see that we have just two images over here so all the images are indeed generated using javascript so now you can go ahead and add your own images over here you can add any number of images you want over here you can add the title image url and the thumbnail url over here inside the javascript and all this code will be automatically generated for you so that's basically it for this video in the next video we will add the functionality for all these stories so when we click on any of these stories we want to display the correct story in full screen mode and we also want to go to the next story after some time automatically and we also want to exit this full screen mode when we click on this close button so we will do all of that in the next video and we'll also make this uh, stories container responsive so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day